I would like to say to the congregation this morning, God has put on my heart. You don't know how much power you got. Yes, sir. You got to change your way and let him work in you. Yes. And that's the catch. That's why your power is not showing. You're not doing what he would have you to do. Okay. Okay. Amen. And uh, God is a God. Uh, uh, if you ask me, he ain't going to hold it back. That's right. right now. He'll tell you what you're doing wrong. If you want to know. Amen. Amen. And uh, <laughs> let's make the promise, child, that we are going to in God yes, sir. this last part of the year. Yes, sir. So next year we'll be all God. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Welcome to Bethel Christian Church, BCC TV, Wednesday night. Recap. Get ready. It's going to be a good one. Powerful. Dynamic. Extraordinary. Life changing. Mind blowing. You going to love it. Pay attention. Get your notes out. Wind down to this. Get ready. Enjoy. They took me to church all the time, but it wasn't it wasn't like this. Like it wasn't instilled. Like we we might have prayed every Sunday. Like my, my grandma didn't go, she was gonna make me go every Sunday. So it was something that was always inside of me, but I didn't I didn't live a church life. Like I pretty much turned 18 and did what I wanted to do. As we all do. So but um I've always had that, you know, that God was always with me. Like, even when I would go through stuff, I would always pray and stuff like that. Even though I still did what I wanted to do, I knew how to go to God. I knew how to pray. I knew how to talk to God. Like, but just depending on my family and getting it from my family, I would not have got it from my family. So when I moved to Gainesville, Gainesville was more of a, a suggestion from God as well. I had never been to Gainesville a day in my life. Mm -hmm. Never. And when I got here, it was just me and a two-year-old little girl. <laughs> and I started working at Hardy's where I met this young man at and it's like I always had this feeling like I want to go to church because my grandma my grandparents would always make me go on Sundays so when I got here and I had you know as you get older you'd be like I'm gonna make it my business to not go every Sunday but when I wasn't going every Sunday I, my body still wanted it like I still wanted the church I still wanted to go to church on Sundays mm -hmm. which is how I got introduced to mm -hmm. so just like the scriptures that I have, it's just more about like, it doesn't matter what you do, like God is the last day. Like, so I'm learning to allow God to direct my life. So I have two scriptures that are coming from Proverbs. It's Proverbs 21, 30, and 31. And it says, no matter how much you know or what plans you make, you can't defeat the Lord. Even if your army has horses ready for battle, the Lord will always win. And it's, um, to break that all down is that no one can cancel out God's plans. Human plans will always fail. And when they fail, it's because every detail was not taken into account. God's plan is all-inclusive. It's based on God knowing all. And we can never outfit God. All his purpose will be accomplished. Because only God gives victory in battle. No, much, no matter how much we prep, we must obey God. Human wisdom is no match for the Lord, who alone is responsible for victory. So I'm just learning that there's nothing I can do in life without consulting God first. Like, even with my job. Like, I have people that go to work and they be like, oh, let me check the time clock to make sure that my hours and stuff match up. And I used to be like that until I realized, like, God, my money doesn't come from you. Like, my money comes 
I mean, my money doesn't come from work. It comes from you. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter how many times I check this time clock or how many times I feel like if I go to work, I'm going to make this amount of money that I have to remember that it, it comes from him first. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just just simple stuff. And like also knowing that when bad stuff happens, to know that it comes from God as well. Like it also tells us in Ecclesiastes 7.14 mm -hmm. that when times are good, you should be cheerful. And when times are bad, think what it means. God makes them both to keep us from knowing what will happen next. So that we constantly trust him instead of our own understanding. Amen. So I'm just, this is new walk for me. Like I wasn't here to preach a sermon or anything, but I'm just letting you guys know what God is doing in my life. Yes. Like I still go through things. Like this week was a hard week for me, I guess, because the enemy knew that I was trying to come up here and do this. So it's like, I was going through different stuff with my mom. Um, I talked to my cousin on Sunday. I got a call on Tuesday that she died. So it's like the enemy has been really just like been trying to attack me. So even coming up here today, like I was nervous and, I, and everything was telling me not to do it and come up with an excuse to not come up here <laughs> and like and tell them all type of stuff. Even when I came into church today, like my stomach was all bought up and I told me mom I was like, I'm nervous. And I was still trying to find a ways to not come up here and to not speak and to not talk. But I went in the bathroom and I told God, I don't care what I feel. I'm going to do it. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm going to do it. And, I, and yeah, my stomach is not even hurting no more. So I thank God for that. And yeah. I think it was just the enemy trying to stop me from doing it. But I thank you guys for allowing me to come up here and to share a little piece of my story and to be able to be a part of it. Like I said, I don't know why God told me to come do it. Aaron had suggested it to the kids, and as I was leaving from the back, God was like, you should do it too. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so this is me. Hopefully you guys will hear more of me soon. So this was just a little bit of introduction. Um, my verse came from Genesis 1 27 King James Version. Um, have y'all found it? Genesis 1 27. of God created he him, male and female created he them. The two words I got from that was created, which means to bring something into existence, and image, which means a representation of the external form of a person. How that applied to my life was that this means that I was brought into existence by God as a representation of his external form. Version, are you reading? Got it. 
the man saw Peter and John as they were going through the gate, so he asked them to give some money. Peter looked carefully at the man, and so did John. Peter said to him, look at us. So the man looked at Peter and John. He thought that they would give him some, some money. Then Peter said to the man, I don't have any money, but I don't, but I do have something else that I will give to you, Jesus Christ, for from the Nazareth, Nazareth gave me authority yes. to do this, so now I tell you to talk. And my takeaway from that is this verse is that God is not talked about, but he uses his disciples to heal the man that needs rich riches. And but they didn't have no riches. So he looked at them and he gave them Jesus Christ. to the congregation this morning. God has put on my heart. You don't know how much power you got. Yes, sir. You got to change your way and let him work in you. Yes. And that's the catch. That's why your power is not showing. You're not doing what he would have you to do. Okay. okay. Amen. And uh, God is a God. Uh, uh, if you ask me, he ain't going to hold it back from you. Right. You tell you what you're doing wrong. Uh, if you want to know. Amen. Amen. And uh, <coughs> let's make the promise, child, ourselves that we're going to grow in God. Yes, sir. This last part of the year. Yes, sir. So next year we'll be all God. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 And today's lesson, uh, something y'all were talking about earlier this morning. Being a help to each other. 
And God wants us to be a help to each other. Yes. And you be surprised how many people your light is shining, light is shining. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. You'll be surprised. You will be. You'll be surprised that how much you got in God mm. and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. Come on now. He ain't gonna force it on you. Amen. But he'll give it to you. Yes, sir. Okay. And there's a difference. Amen. He tell you his word what he desires from each of us. Yes, he does. But we don't do it. We do part of it, part of it. We come to Sunday, church every Sunday. But the rest of the week, we forget about God. And, and I'm, I'm just talking this morning. Man. And, uh, and God wants us to remember him at all times. Yes, sir. Amen. First at yes, all sir. Time. If you put him first, he'll put you first. Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. And tell us today's lesson is uh, God wants us to be one minded. Then we can care for one another. Amen. Yes. Amen. God Amen. wants to be one minded. That means have the mind of Him. That one minded means the mind of Him. Then we can care for one another. We can do for each other. And uh, that was brought out so so clearly this morning that, that uh, we, we are a vessel that can help each other. Yes. Amen. Because yes. I remember <coughs> when I was, I, was, I was brought up in the church, but I had got straight away, and uh, I was so far from God. Then he healed me. Yes. And he, he, he took me off a drug. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. And now I'm told out to God. Yes, sir. Yes. Even when I don't feel like doing oh, that, I go out and distribute food. Sometimes I be so tired, mm -hmm. but I still go because I want to go. Yes, sir. It don't mean because I'm tired, but I want to go. So I'm going to, if I can't only walk, I'm going to go mm -hmm. because I, I'm dedicated to that. You had a purpose. Yeah. And I, I know I'm helping somebody. That's right. That's right. I'm giving somebody a chance, you know. And uh, God wants all of us to do that. Yes. In some way or another, our yeah. form. Uh, help someone sometimes, you know. Don't always think about yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, yeah. he going to take care of yourself if you take care of others. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So let's get started this morning. And I say again. My lesson child is God wants us to be one minded, then we can care for one another. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. <clears throat> in Romans the fifteenth chapter, the five verse, in the King James Version it says, Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like minded, one towards another, according to Jesus Christ. And in the uh, Living Translation, that same scripture, Romans 15, and so I say, May the God who gives his patience and encouragement help you, you live in a, have you to live in a complete harmony with each other is a spitting to follow Jesus Christ. Let me read that again. May God, who gives his patience and encouragement, help you to live in complete harmony with each other as is fitting for followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So what we want to talk about this morning, as I said earlier, is uh, God wants us to be one mind so we have the mind to help others. Thank because you, if you got the mind of Christ, you will help others. Yeah. Because he's going to help you. If, if you just ask. But yeah. we should go out and make it our business to do things for others. Yes, sir. Yeah. I ain't saying you give a person $100 a day, mm -hmm. uh, but there's other, a lot of other things you can help people with. That's right. That's right. Just crossing the street sometimes would be a big help. You see people in need, and you walk, like the pastor said earlier, you see people in the dire need, and you walk right past them. Just with them. And across the street, just like the scriptures talk about. That's right. 
it's with the statue here or whatever he was. Cross the street. Good, good Samaritan. Good Samaritan. He crossed the street. Yeah, good Samaritan, but he crossed the street. And, and some of us are the same. I ain't trying to come down with the one, but right. I'm just telling the truth. Yes, sir. We do the same thing. Yes, sir. And God is uh, <coughs> God's not pleased with that. You should be pleased with that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Romans 15 and 13 says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. God said we can abound in hope. There's always a chance. To me, hope means there's always a chance yes, sir. to do That's something. Right. He said we can abound in that. Amen. And God wants us to abound, abound in hope. Amen. Yes. Because we abound in hope, then we'll make a difference. Yes. Amen. We'll do, we'll do things different. Because yes. we see the joy of it. Thank Amen. you, Lord Jesus. Psalms 86 and 5 says this, Oh Lord, you are so good, so ready to forgive, so full of unfolding love, for all who ask for your help. So the scripture is telling us God is so good, he's ready to forgive us, and so full of unfolding love for those who ask for it. You ain't got to work for it, all you got to do is ask for it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and that's a big difference. Yes, sir. If you know how easy it was to get to God, it, it ain't complicated at all. Yeah. And God loves for you to so unfold. So He loves you. He cares about you. He wants you to do these things. Amen. And uh, you know, we know we got an adversary going to try to keep us from doing it, but he 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 a lost cause. Yes, he is. Because God gonna give you the things that you need to explore. Amen. 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 And. Uh, he said it, I believe it. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. I'm sick of Amen. being in it. Amen. Amen. First Peter 3 and 20 says, Those who disobey God long ago, and God waited patiently while Noah was building his boat, only eight people were saved from drowning in that terrible flood. But so what the scripture is saying that people who are disobedient to God, when Noah was building the boat, uh, all of them died but eight people because they were disobedient. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got more than eight people in here that's uh, obeying God. Uh, so, uh, if you're not obeying God, do obey God. God yes, sir. Amen. And if you obey God, then God will put in your heart to help people, help one another. Amen. You see your brother and sister down and out. And you ain't got, like I said earlier, you ain't got to worry about getting them your money. Because there's more in life than money. Yeah. People need your, a lot of times people just need your sympathy. Yeah, or your yeah. feeling for them, mm -hmm. or knowing that you care about them, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. They don't need uh, 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 monetary so things. Yeah, yeah, people just want to know that you think about them mm -hmm. and how you think about them. That's a good point. Yes, sir. So we want to get the mind of Christ that we can do those type of things. Amen. Second Peter 3 and 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, to all us, us what? Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes. And God is not slack concerning his promises. I might be able to slack on my promises. But God ain't slack on his promise. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> He's long suffering toward us with. 
and not wishing that end should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes. We want all to repent of what we have done and when we do it. Amen. Amen. And to the Lord. Second Peter 3 and 15 says, And remember, our Lord patience give people time to be saved. This is what our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you with the wisdom of God himself. And what the scripture is saying is that uh, uh, the Lord gives us time to repent and get saved. Amen. Uh, and, uh, and there's so many that don't even care. Yeah. You know, there's war going on. They don't care nothing about God. Yeah. When there's a war going on, whoever started that war don't care nothing about God. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. And, and uh, I know a person has to defend themselves. And, uh, uh, but God patient even with them who start a war. To repent. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Second Corinthians, first three. Yeah, I forgot what Corinthians it was, but it's verse three and four. Praise you, Jesus. <laughs> Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort. Yeah, that was That's chapter one. That's chapter one. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Second chapter one, verse three and four. The four verses who comfort us in all our tribulation, yes. when we are in men, which are in me. He comforts us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them when they are in many troubles. By comfort, where will we ourselves are comforted? So God is a comforter. Yes. And he yes. comforts us, and he expects us to comfort others. Amen. Right? Amen. And our day to day walk, amen. Because so many people are in trouble. Yes. And so many people need to know God. Yes, they do. Yeah. And so many people uh, don't know about God. Right. True. And, and so many people that, that say, that's, uh, think so lowly yeah. of themselves. That's right. Yeah. They, need they, they need to comfort their word. Yeah. And we yeah. are the ones that are supposed to comfort them because we Amen. have the mind of Christ. Amen. 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 And God wants us to use that mind that we have like him. Yeah. Be like minded. Yeah. To comfort others. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because he said we would comfort them. If he said it, I believe it. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Right. You'd be surprised who you comfort. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. By, by, by just trying. Amen. 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 Second Corinthians 7 and 6 says, Nevertheless, God, that comfort those that are cast down, comfort us by the coming of Titus. Roman. 12 and 16 says, Be of the same man, one for another, man not high things, but content with men of low estate. Be that wise in your own concept. So, what God is telling you, uh, don't think you know it all. Mm. Don't think you got it all. Mm. Don't think everybody else is lower than you. I'm thinking about people uh, uh, trash concern compared to you. Yeah. He said, nevertheless, the God who great wait, I'm in the wrong one. Mm -hmm. it. it said, be of the same man one toward another, man not have things, but consent to me as a lonely state. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because that guy there with the bag in his hand standing on the corner sleeping on the bench. Don't don't think he eat trash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Stop and try to help him. Mm -hmm. That's right. Give him a kind word. If he ain't got nothing else to give him. 
you can always give someone a kind word. Amen. Yeah, it don't cost nothing to give a kind word to someone. Just open your mouth. And you'd be surprised how that would help someone. Amen. And the fear of the reason they're out there is because somebody has cast them down. Somebody has felt bad about them. Somebody was told them they wasn't nothing. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how that affects people. You're right. You're right. Amen. Yes. Amen. So finding your heart sometimes too. Uh, I kind of I, I like this, but my wife I be scared for, her, but she don't be scared. She comes from home and she have a care package. She stop and get people side the road, men, women, children, anybody, and has uh, uh, a little cash in them and have a little food in them. And uh, I thank God for her doing that. Amen. Amen. Because uh, it, it helps somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. 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 And uh, when she worked out, there'd be a lot of people standing by the road or sleep, sleeping by the roadside, and she stopped and helped them. Yes. Her and Sister Shinji uh, had a little money bags. They'd be giving out people money and food bags, you know. I think like, that's a good thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are trying. Second mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Chronicles 30 and 12 says, and the, at the same time, God's hand was on the people in the land of Judah, giving them all one heart to obey the orders of the king and his officials who were following the word of the Lord. And to me that's saying we should be following our pastor because he said he has he they were following the word of God. Just like God blessed those people who who were in Judah that were following they followed the king and the fishes that were in charge because they were following God. We should be following our pastors and people that are following God. Amen, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that's a, that's a broad statement that people just take more, pay more attention to because they were following God. God wanted the people who follow the fishes who are following God. Right. So God wants us to follow our uh, fishes who are following oh, God. God. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Nobody throw that at me now. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Jeremiah 32 and 39. Uh, I forgot to tell you, most, a lot of my scriptures came from the Living Translation. You won't see them written like that in the King James Bible. I, I got some from the King James Bible uh, and some from the Living Bible Translation. Okay? Amen. Amen. And I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever and for the good of them and for the, their children after them. Glory That's God. a broad statement. Yes. God said, you give you one heart mm -hmm. and I give you one way that you may fear me forever. I fear God forever so I want my children to fear God the same way. Amen. And he, he said that your children will after you will follow him. Yes, Jesus. Amen. God is a good God. Yes. Amen. Thank you. A very good God. Thank you all the time. And, and you know, we don't deserve it. <laughs> we don't deserve it. Amen. <laughs> Every day we're going to say, we have no business doing it. Amen. Talk with Jesus. Every day. With the trash. Mm. You trash. Yes. Oh, he's still going to love you. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
to see God know what he was doing. He knew where we were when he made us. He knew how we were going to act. Come on now. What we were going to be like. Mm. Who we were going to cuss out. Mm. Who we were going to bless. Who we going to bless. Yeah. But he still loves us. That's right. He still gives us a chance. Yeah. Suppose he would like us. Mm, mm, mm. Just think about it. God would like us. Chance. <laughs> Thank you, God, for being so good. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Yes. Thank God. Ezekiel 11 and 19 says, And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh, and I will give them a heart of flesh. Amen. Amen. God said, He's going to take the stony heart out of us. A stony heart to me is a heart that don't care about nothing. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't love nothing. Don't cherish nothing. Yes. But God said, He gives us a, take that stony heart out of our flesh Amen. and give us a heart of flesh where we will care about one another, yes. do for one another, love one another. Praise God. Amen. As we said earlier, you know, this whole lesson is about we making a change and helping each other. Amen. Instead of uh, dogging each other because uh, that's just like, like um, if, if we got a pastor and we see something wrong and we won't go tell him, but we go tell everybody else. Right. right. Come on, man. We won't tell him. Right. He won't know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. But they think he should know everything. <laughs> you go to somebody else's church and be dropping lines yeah. on our pastor. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's where we are. Yeah. That's, what's wrong. that's why we need to help one another and have one mind of yeah. Christ yeah. that we won't do stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Be surprised when people do that. Yeah, they, right. they, won't, they won't tell the pastor. Mm -hmm. I won't tell uh, uh, find a party in the church they can go talk to. And they both would sit there talking about the pastor. I'm talking about the church. What's going on in the church? What ain't going on in the church? Malcolm Jesus. Mm -hmm. See, that ain't God. No. That ain't God because he just said it in his word that, you know, it's the people who follow their officials because. They were people of God. You want people to follow their opinion because they are people of God. Acts 4 and 32 says, All the believers were united in the heart and mind. And they felt that what they owned was not their own. So they shared everything they had. Mm -hmm. That's a wrong, that's good, that's a good scripture here. Y'all should mark that scripture. <laughs> it says, Acts 4 and 13, says, all the believers were united in the heart. Mm -hmm. They had the same heart. Yes. Uh, and mine. Right. And they felt that they, what they had, they owned was not theirs own. Mm -hmm. They owned it, but it was, they didn't feel like it was their own. Right. Mm -hmm. And what they did, they shared it with everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some people, you get them to do that, you almost have to be them to do it. Something they own, and they share it. But that's, that's the way we do one another. That's the way we should do one another. Amen. 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 I felt like I could do a lot better than this, but my speech was right, but I'm going to do the best I can for God, just like I am. Amen. 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 Come on, man. Just man. like I am. You yeah. get my full in. Yeah. Because I could have took off and go on vacation and say, I'm going to get well, and I'm already well. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Y'all better understand something. Huh. Oh, yeah. Amen. God's a good God. Yes, he yes, is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is.
1 Corinthians 1 and 10 says, I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authorization of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with each other, that there be no division in the church, rather be a one man, united in thought and purpose. Yes, Lord. And have the same purpose. And be a one man, one mm -hmm. heart. Amen. And I found scripture today in Second Corinthians 13 and 11. And it says, Finally, brothers, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one man, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you, praise God, for his word again. And uh, uh, I thank God that, that, that he's been, since we've been dealing with uh, the mind of Christ, he's been just giving me scriptures. And I've been looking them up and other scriptures that go with them and, and just been falling in the face. Praise the Because I guess he wanted me to be the first one in that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. So I'm so loud. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank God Amen. for His word today and thank God bless us. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the word today. We thank you for all that you said, God. We thank you for what you're doing and what you're about to do and what you have already done. In the name of Jesus. Continue leading God us. And all truth. Help us make the right decision. Help us, yeah. Help us be the, the sons and daughters that you call in your life and your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much again for your continued service and faithfulness. If this ministry is a blessing to you, please continue to like, follow, and most of all, share. You are the miracle on 143rd Street. Be a blessing.